Lewis, uh, B Operation iDroid here, and welcome to News for iOS, a series where I give you all the latest and greatest news iOS. In this video, we have a lot of things to discuss about jailbroken and non-jailbroken devices, mostly focusing on emulators. If you're excited to hear about these topics, please hit that like button, and without any further ado, let's head into the news. Our first story is one I've been covering for a while, iRec, a non-jailbroken and jailbroken screen recorder which has been receiving updates lately under the direction of Anthony Agatello. I covered the iRec 1.1 public beta that was open for only a couple of days fixing many bugs, however, I am now showing you version 1.2 which introduces a new feature to report bugs, the settings button has moved, and a light and dark theme among many other things. This version of 1.2 will be going into public beta in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. Moving on to the state of iEmulators. As you know, the applications on the website have been unavailable to non-jailbroken devices running iOS 8.1 and above due to the date trick being patched and that iEmulators has run out of enterprise certificates. However, here we have a string of tweets that reminds users to please be patient as they look for more certificates and an alternative for those that do not want to wait or deal with the app crashing every once in a while. This alternative is the Build Store. I've created a video on it in the past which I highly recommend you watch linked in the description below but I will give you a short explanation of the service now. The Build Store has all the same applications and emulators I emulators has plus more. They offer these apps available to any iOS device, including those with iOS 8.1 and up, without any crashes for a year, but at a low cost of $9.99. This is definitely an option for those that are willing to spend the money. Finally, the last thing I would like to talk to you all about is an application on the App Store named Hunger Crunch. I recently heard about this game and I've really enjoyed playing it. The game is free, but like many iOS games, it offers in-app purchases to help you complete the game quicker. However, unlike many other iOS games, all of the proceeds of in-app purchases go directly to a non-profit organization working to end world hunger. I highly recommend you all check out this app, and for more information, I'll have a video on it fully covering the app tomorrow. And one last thing, jailbreak tutorials will be coming soon. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated, as well as if you like to stay up to date with all the topics I mentioned in this video, hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a video. If you want to watch more of my videos, click on one of the two on the screen or for my mobile users follow the link in the description below. Again, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.